Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, July 10th, 2019, back on the premises of Long Island Jewish, and we're going to do some ground patrol today before I clock in. I don't really care if I get, you know, a little bit of reconciliation for, oh, being late. I gotta do my civic duty right now, and that is see if the pothole got filled since I was away for the past two weeks. And see if Nassau County, yes, I'm going to blame Nassau County for fixing the light by Long Island Jewish Service Entrance. Well, I think it's called Service Entrance. I'm not too sure. It's still serving the people when you look at the state of New York, I guess. Yep, look, the pothole is still here. It's still here. And I said I was going to give it the whole summer. At least till the end of August. Then I was gonna actually tweet 311 about it. And look, there's a crack in the sidewalk. Again, shame on this hospital. You know, they have every right to call the DOT and, and get this whole situation fixed because this is still New York City land. You know, somebody could just call 311 represent the hospital and say, listen, we need the roads repaved. Can't you get the yellow DOT trucks to get over here? And, you know, they're not going to do that. Because since this is the middle of Queens, considered the middle of Nassau County, they don't care. They don't. Now, if this happened in Little Neck or Douglaston, I'm not going to say the D word, then the road will get repaved immediately because of the D word. So I'm going to walk now to the corner of Lakeville and service entrance, and then I'm going to walk back in and uh, clock in for my shift. But again, I, I got to show you this stuff because, again, News 12 isn't going to cover it. So I figured I might as well do it until somebody gets some action done. Yeah, guess what, folks? We got a fail this morning. The 1002 bus left late. This was supposed to be the 1002 bus, 8650, I saw it when I was pulling in. We were like, we pulled in, me and my dad pulled in the hospital like 1004. And what happened was this was supposed to be the 1002 bus, and it left late. Unless maybe they changed the schedules, I'm not too sure, because I last saw when I was in Maryland that they didn't change the schedules. So, we're just going to take a look and see the update. I'm just going to walk up and, uh, ah, bad news, it's still taped up. It's still taped up. Yep. Look. Let me show you guys. Yep. Look at this. I said, behind the service entrance of Long Island Jewish. You know, again, they don't care that we have to cross the street. Just to get to the N25. Oh, good, there are workers here. Ah. Yeah, I'm not gonna cross the street just to get run over. I'm not gonna do that. No. That won't be worth my time, and then I'm gonna be later, even later for work. So I'm gonna walk back. But yeah, see what I mean? I'm sorry to criticize the agency, not the agency. Well, not an agency, no. What's the word? Because I'm just, I'm just annoyed. The group. That's what we call Norfolk. The group. Honestly, doesn't care about maintaining its roads. You know, this is the people of New York we're talking about here. And also, again, I'm going to criticize one union. I have to say it. I don't care if I get bashed. 1199 SEIU. You know the heads up in Norfolk get kickbacks from them. Because they have ties with also Wall Street. Alright? You have bank executives, donors. I know this for a fact. They donate to 1199 SEIU Union. It's corruption at its finest. They don't want you to see what's really going on with the roads here. So again, I'm going to keep talking about this because 
As I said, I'm, I, I thought about it, and again, I'm going to give it to the end of the month. I'm going to give it to the end of the month. And I'm going to complain to 311. Because again, the city of New York should get involved, because this is still city of New York property. You know, the road should be repaved. Unacceptable. I mean, I'm gone for two weeks. I was expecting DOT to come over here, but no, DOT doesn't care because, again, I said it earlier. I'm not going to say it again because of mismanagement. It's unacceptable. You know, if I was ahead of this hospital and I saw the roads weren't repaved, I would, I would be like Brody Van Wagen. I would throw chairs in the office. That's how upset I would be. But thankfully, I'm not upper head of this hospital. I'm, lo I'm, what I'm considered in this hospital, I'm considered just your, what is it, right? There comes an Orion. Beaky tailpipes in from, <laughs> And look at that, they're gonna fill the 1012, I think. Which again, I'm not, I don't really care about that right now. I gotta get into work. And yeah, that's all I have to say. You know, I'm frustrated. I'm a concerned employee slash citizen. And I'm just very annoyed right now what's going on here. And look, we gotta fail. That guy in the Chevy didn't yield. Yep. Thank goodness I didn't get his plate. That's why I always stop when I try to cross here. Yeah, be careful. Mostly gotta look for wrong way drivers, because sometimes you'll get them here. It has happened, I think, once or twice I've seen it here. And also, uh, before I go, I want to quickly mention that as of last month, I've officially marked four years at LIJ, four years working for the same department that I do mail for. I'm not going to get into it, but officially June 2015, that's when I started. So, that all in mind, I'm going to get going. I'm going to clock in. So, thank you all for watching. As Matt Camper says, the fight continues. And again, I don't see any progress. I'm, I'm calling 311. I'm going to hear what they have to say about this because, again, this is something Commissioner Trottenberg should look into. I mean, again, I know I've had my, my battles with her, but this is the one time I need to work with Commissioner Trottenberg. So thank you all for watching. So the next one, please take care.